just perfect. Judith, I know what you're thinking. Oh, I'll tell you what I'm thinking. I'm thinking your brother's a weasley little coward who doesn't have the guts to face up to his responsibilities. Whoa, 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 whoa. There's a little more to this than meets the eye. Oh, really? And I suppose you're going to explain it to me? I'm going to try if you'll calm down for a minute and listen. All right, I'm listening. Are you calm? I'm listening. (laughs) Okay. You know why Alan's not here? Because he's ashamed. Well, he should be. Judith, that's not listening. (laughs) He's ashamed because no matter how hard he works, he just can't seem to get ahead. You know his business is falling apart, don't you? Really? He hasn't said anything. Because he's too proud. Poor guy lost all his chiropractic walk-ins to an unlicensed massage parlor that opened up right between him and the Jabba Juice. I'm deadly serious. Who's going to pay to have their spine adjusted when for half the price they can get their dingus dusted? Well, I wouldn't know about that. As it turns out, I'm a bit of an expert. And I'm telling you, he's going under. Oh, my God. Did you know he took a part-time job? No. But you didn't hear it from me. And please, please don't say anything to Jake. The last thing Alan wants is to look like a failure in the eyes of that little boy in there. Of course not. I, I won't say a word. Thank you. Hey, where's Dad? Just go with Uncle Charlie. Okay. Why is Mom crying? Because I'm good. I'm very, very good.